We've spent the last couple of months in Cape Town, South Africa. And now we're headed north on what promises to be an epic road trip and adventure. Today is Sunday, and while tomorrow is technically a Monday, it's not a real Monday for me anymore. I quit my job and Friday was my last day. We jumped into my trusty little Honda that's been all over Southern Africa. She's been to a lot of different countries, uh, Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, and Mozambique, and some really tre treacherous roads that I'm sure you wouldn't believe that she could cross. This is the beginning of an adventure that we hope never stops. Uh, we won't be driving all around the world with her, but we are going to be going all around the world and we hope our adventure doesn't ever stop. We've been driving up the coast and have passed some beautiful coastal towns, sand dunes, and then we get to this section of the country. As you can see behind me, it looks like the desert southwest where I grew up in New Mexico. And I just love it. It's just like every little hill we went over, I was just expecting to see some of my favorite sites. And it really felt more like home because I would see these little clusters of sheep or a couple of horses going down the side of the road. And it just reminds me so much of New Mexico. It's uncanny. I just love it. So I'm used to driving on dirt roads, but this one is really in bad condition. It's very washboarded, and you either have to go really, really fast or really, really slow. So we're still in South Africa. Um, hadn't expected so many dirt roads already. We expected in Namibia, but I got all new tires, just checking them to make sure everything is okay. And uh, it's a beautiful Sunday morning out in the middle of nowhere. The drive north from Cape Town was stunning and follows the coastline up as far as the remote town of Port Nala. So this whole area a long time ago all used to be owned by De Beers. They control the uh, diamond empire in the whole world. And it used to be so restricted that um, even if you were on this road, if you stopped, you knew you had to stay in your car because someone would come out and ask you what you were doing on the side of the road and, and you know if your car was broken down they'd help you get out. Uh, they take their diamonds very seriously here. <laughs> We drove all day yesterday and here we are in Port Nolith. Um, it, it's really cold and windy. We are on the Atlantic side of the ocean. Lots of big waves and we've got the marine layer in which keeps everything pretty cold. So about five miles back up the road was hot, dry desert. And now here we are on the ocean. Can't wait to get down to the tide pools. Well, these rocks are all angled and it is so beautiful. I forgot to mention earlier, it's winter time <laughs> in the Southern Hemisphere and that's why it's so cold right now. In addition to the water, the Atlantic Ocean never really warms up here either. But man, the waves are massive today and it is really, really beautiful. These mussel shells. I mean, there's millions of them covering the beach. It's crazy. Look what I found on the beach. A little watermelon urchin. Skeleton, of course. It's not alive. So there's not a lot to do here. It's still the sleepy little town that it was 25 years ago when I was first here. But it's a great place to come and escape, walk along the beach, look for interesting things, and just generally relax. But it has a very interesting history. The town was founded in the 1800s um, after they started using it to transport copper from a mine further up north on the coast. The problem began though when more and more copper started being transported. There were a lot of shipwrecks on the rocky coast, you can see. 
and so they decided to stop using it. After that, in the 1920s, diamonds were discovered up all along the coast. And this town became a haven for diamond companies, diamond smugglers, and that was what it was known for until, I, I don't know, until very recently, and the, and the diamonds have more or less been exhausted. So Port Nolith has changed over the years. You can see a lot more holiday homes here, even though there aren't very many people here now because we're in winter. But I imagine that during the holiday times, the summer months, that this place can get very crowded with people just looking to have a, a good beach holiday. So, <laughs> we intended to stay one night in Port Nolith, and the owner of the beach house messaged me and said, it's really not a good idea just to spend one night. So, here we are on day three. Sometimes, great accommodations alone are enough to make you want to stop for a while, and this was certainly the case with the beach house. First thing we noticed was the front yard. We've got old whale bones in the front, all these different kind of succulents, cacti growing everywhere, shells for a front yard. It's absolutely beautiful, and as you can hear, the waves crashing in the background. Let's go in and have a look. Amazingly, this house was built in Europe in the 1800s and shipped to Port Nolith. The reason why is because there are no trees here and this is the only way you're going to find a house made out of wood in this part of Africa. The living room is gigantic. The best thing about it is the picture window has the ocean coming right into your living room. This is our dining room which seats 10 people as you can see. It's got a wonderful lamp overhead the table and our very own fireplace. But I don't think we're going to be cooking for 10 people. <laughs> also a unique feature uh, in South Africa, they call barbecues brais. We do have an outside uh, barbecue when you first walk up the step, but we also have an indoor braai barbecue area so that if you do want to braai in the winter, if it's raining, all you have to do is walk right from the dining room here to where you can cook your food. If you don't feel like having a braai or a barbecue, then we've got this amazing huge kitchen where you can cook anything you like. This is the master bedroom, which has the same view of the ocean as the living room. But the best feature about this room, let me show you. There is a huge double shower, but the best thing about this is your very own private tub with a view of the ocean. It is fantastic. Each morning when we woke up, Port Nolith was shrouded in fog. This was a great time to take a walk down on the rocks and listen to the waves crash the shore. By early afternoon, the fog would lift and it was time to hit the beach. So today we have a beautiful sunny day and we're down here on this huge beach here at, right in Port Nala. And yesterday when we drove by, there was actually a small diamond mining vessel out here um, dredging the sand through its hoses looking for diamonds, literally right here. I doubt that I'll find a diamond, but I don't care. I'm just so happy to be here. It's so beautiful. The main beach here in Port Nolith is just beautiful, and there are some great tidal pools to explore. But keep in mind, if you wander around too long, you might get a visit from a curious local. So believe it or not, we just got stopped by the cops. Yep, on the beach. <laughs> so this is a heavily diamond area, which I think, you know, we said before, and people are coming out here and they want to make sure they're not poaching animals and diamonds. Because apparently you can't do that. <laughs> Anyway, he walked all the way out here, and it was far, and uh, asked where we were, who we were, and what we were doing out here. We explained to him, I just have one shell and a rock. 
The authorities here were very polite and just doing their diligence, so don't let this discourage you. The beach is stunning here and well worth exploring. Before we left Port Nala, we had just one more bit of business we needed to take care of. So when you're traveling throughout Africa and you travel from one country to the other, you have to affix a, a sticker to your card to let everyone else know what country you're coming from. So ZA is the abbreviation for South Africa and I'm getting ready to put this on my car now. We are good to go. We'll see you next time in Namibia. Road trip. Woo, woo. <laughs>